One of the most popular curries in Australia would have to be butter chicken. I adore it. And I think it's because it's that beautiful combination of spices and the creaminess of some cream that's added to the end. And of course, a little bit of butter. So first up, we need a marinade for the chicken. So into a large platter just like this, I'll add a few tablespoons of yogurt. Not too much, it's just a thin coating on the chicken. This is going to tenderize the chicken too. And now a combination of minced garlic and minced ginger. We'll add that to the yogurt. Along with a few spices. So some paprika, so smoked paprika. And we'll add that to the yogurt. And one teaspoon each of ground cumin and ground coriander. Now we'll give that a really good mix. Now I'll also add a little pinch of salt. Okay, now for the chicken. The best chicken to use for this would be chicken thigh, which is a darker cut of meat. Chicken thigh stays moist throughout the cooking process. And because we're cooking the chicken twice, so once under the grill and then in the gravy or the sauce, it is better to use this because it's going to maintain its moisture. So in, cutting it into four. I've removed the skin, so we don't want the skin. So four thighs all up for this recipe. All right, all done. Now we need to coat this chicken in this little bit of marinade and the best way to do this is just get your hands in there and mix it so every little piece is coated. Okay, now we can get onto the gravy. So just in a saute pan or a medium pot, I'll turn the heat on, just to low heat because we're going to add some butter and I don't want it to burn. I'll also chop some onion, so finely dicing it. Now this onion can go in and then a few knobs of butter and then we'll just allow that to melt away and start to cook. And now we can add a few whole spices to this. So one whole cinnamon stick and a few cardamom pods. Now we're going to cook this until it softens down and then I'll add some chilli. Now this is ground Kashmiri chilli. You can get this from Indian grocers or you can buy it online. And it's famous not only for its slight spice, but more importantly, it's vibrant colour. And that's where we get that bright orange colour from. Okay, these onions have softened, so I'll add a little extra ginger. Perfect. And we'll stir that in. And now we can start adding our ground spices. So the chilli powder can go in. And the rest of that ground cumin and ground coriander and a little bit of paprika if you've got some left over. Now give that a stir and cook that off for just a few seconds until it starts to become really aromatic. Now we'll add our tomato paste. Now tomato paste is a crucial part of a buttered chicken because it's not only going to give it that lovely tomato flavour, it's also going to thicken up our gravy. Now this is not traditional but I love the addition of some fresh tomato. This will bulk it out too. So one tomato, finely chopped, seeds and all. And a good pinch of salt. All right, so give that a good stir. Turn the heat down and we'll cook this for about two to three minutes. That's enough time for us to prepare our chicken. So it's been marinating for a little bit. I've got a tray here. So a tray that's been lined with a rack. So when it comes to buttered chicken, it's a combination of the classic chicken tikka, which is grilled chicken, put through that delicious butter and cream gravy. So we wanna get this really charred and caramelized on the outside before we add it to our sauce. So what I'll do is place these with a little bit of space between them. Then this goes in the oven under a grill. So this will go in for about four to five minutes on each side, then we'll remove it and it can go into the sauce. Now while the chicken's in the oven, we can finish off this sauce. Let's have a look. Oh, see that rich, deep red colour? That's what we're looking for. And to finish off the sauce, we need to add some cream. We'll pour that in. And then the last spice I'm adding to this is garam masala. And you do add this at the end, so you can really taste the freshness of it. So a sprinkle of that. And then a little pinch of salt. And now this is going to cook for another 10 minutes on a low heat with the lid on. In that time, I'll check the chicken, turn it over so it's caramelised on both sides. Now the chicken has come out of the oven. Doesn't it look fantastic? See how crunchy it is on the outside? That's exactly how it should be. Have a look at this sauce.
It is superb. That gorgeous orange colour that we all associate with butter chicken. It smells delicious. I'm going to turn it down now and all we need to do is mix through our chicken pieces. So we'll place it in there. Now we'll coat that caramelised chicken in the sauce and homemade butter chicken is done. Now you can't have a curry like this without serving it with some piping hot steamy rice. So I'll place a little bit of basmati rice on one side of the bowl. And then on the other side of the bowl, grab a nice few big pieces of chicken. It's a little bit of mint chutney. And then just with another spoon, some raita on the side. And there you have it, homemade butter chicken. I love it. It's probably one of my favourite curries. It is super delicious.